In Syria, President Bashar al-Assad has appointed a new prime minister. After dismissing the old cabinet in an attempt to ease the unrest in the country, dozens have been killed in two weeks of fighting. The government blames outside influence for the unrest. Well, the situation has raised fears that further foreign military intervention could be on the cards. Let's discuss this with independent journalist James Corbett. He joins us live from Japan. Thanks for being with us this Sunday. Now, as this unrest continues, how concerned do you think the West is with the current situation? And is Syria, do you think, considered as important as Libya in terms of strategy? Well, I think Syria is obviously going to be a very important, uh, the next piece on the geopolitical chessboard for the people who are who are manipulating the uh, the current intervention in Libya. And we've seen, obviously, a lot of covert intervention going on behind the scenes, both before and during this current humanitarian intervention, so-called. And I, I figure that's exactly what's going to be taking place in Syria as the a very uh, geostrategic location uh, starts to, to become destabilized in this wave of destabilization that we've uh, been seeing going on for the past few weeks here. How far do you think it will go? Do you think we could possibly see the same kind of information, uh, intervention rather, as we're seeing in Libya? Well, I think the precedent is being set right now with the Libyan case. And uh, it, it, uh, if they're able to get away, with, I suppose, if the forces of, of Western imperialism are able to get away with this in Libya, then it's really uh, just a question of implementing the same scheme in Syria. And we've seen how it can be done by uh, fomenting uh, and funding and training and arming and supplying the rebel forces in a country in, in a basically covert attempt to implement regime change. And I think something similar could be attempted in Syria. Uh, at this point, obviously, uh, there is no there's no indication that there's any type of military intervention that's that's likely to take place. But we've seen the uh, the rhetoric building up for a no fly zone, no fly zone exactly the way that the Libyan intervention was uh, begun. Now, we've seen uh, President Assad dissolving the government in an attempt to calm the situation. Do you think that that is going to work? Um, I, th I think it would be uh, difficult to, for, for him to really rely on that. Uh, I don't think at this point that, that that's going to have a huge effect. Uh, obviously, it's just a, a Band-Aid type solution. And I think playing out long term, I think there are, there are going to be much more uh, difficult decisions to, to face in the future. But I think it's, uh, it's the only step that uh, I think Assad could make at this point um, in, in a way of trying to prop up his his dictatorship, which is a, a reprehensible dictatorship, uh, there's no, no doubt about that, but uh, I think we're being crammed into another uh, false dichotomy of choosing between Western imperial interventionism in the region or uh, supporting a brutal dictator and not being offered the third choice, which is to allow the Syrians to take care of the situation themselves. Well, you've, you've touched on this a little bit, hinted at it. There is widespread speculation that there's a wider goal here, and that is to isolate uh, Libya, perhaps Syria, and then perhaps Iran and force a regime change there. Is that something that you suspect as well? I think that's absolutely the way that the dominoes are falling, and I think that's exactly what an intervention in Syria would be about. Ultimately, it would be to isolate Iran, obviously Syria being a, an absolutely vital strategic partner and uh, a, a long-term partner of Iran and uh, providing that land link to uh, Hezbollah. Um, and, and so it's absolutely a geostrategic location and it's very strategic for, for Iran. So I would say, say that if, the, if Syria is the next country to fall under this imperialist intervention, I think that would uh, definitely be the long-term goal would be to, to isolate Iran to hopefully eventually in the imperialist eyes to overthrow Ahmadinejad's regime. And then it would be a question of encircling China and Russia. All right, James Corbett, independent journalist. Uh, thank you very much for your analysis. Thank you.